Okay, welcome. So what we're looking at here are three terminals into a Cisco Catalyst 9300 switch running iOS XE with guest shell enabled. The screen in the top left is going to be the primary screen where the Olama service is going to be running and hosting Microsoft Phi 3, the small language model. In the top right corner is where we're going to run our commands and interact with it like a user would. And the one along the bottom horizontally is going to be to show termmon and display the syslogs as they come. All right, so let's take a look at this. First thing we have to do is drop into guest shell. And I've already installed Olama, but we're going to run a little bash script that sets up some environment variables like the local model directory and a temp folder directory and some permissions. It's going to start Olama, and then it's going to start V3. And right now, if you look closely, you can see has started, right? Llama v2, 2.16 gigs in size, 3.82 billion parameters. It will do a post once it's ready to go. So once I've seen this, I know that Olama is up and running. We're going to move to the top right terminal, drop back into guest shell, and just to prove I'm not cheating or that none of this is off the box or remotely called, we're going to do Olama list. And we're, we can see that Olama answers, and it's a local Olama instance running Phi 3. So we're going to move to the bottom window and just turn on termmon and clear the logs. And termmon is a terminal monitor, which means anything that goes into syslog will be displayed to the CLI, to the screen. So I'm going to run show IP interface brief, everyone's favorite command. There is the standard output. Now watch. Um, I'm going to let it go. See how I'm executing the Python script in guest shell? So let me pause it again, back it up a second. So by running that command, it triggered an EAM script, an event manager script, embedded event manager, that caught that someone ran show IP interface brief. It's going to trigger my Python code in guest shell which is going to send, we can see the post. So I've truncated this for, on purpose for brevity, but one minute and 38 seconds it took the LLM locally in the Catalyst queue to generate the response to my prompt that said, here is the output from a show IP interface brief command. Could you please provide analysis? And I passed it the real show IP interface brief output kind of like rag, but without the vector store, I'm attaching it directly. So now you can see here in the syslog terminal at the bottom, all of the AI's answers come back to us in syslog on the box. So we triggered the post a minute and a half later, we have syslogs, that's the AI's analysis, free, local, private, on Catalyst switch directly. So now just to prove this, I'm going to maximize this window and we're going to run show logging. We're going to see that in the logs, we have the AI analysis of the show IP interface brief. Now to prove that it worked, if you look closely at the IP addresses, I'm going to issue a show IP interface brief command again, and we can line up the IP address such as VLAN 311 has an IP address of 1085.134.92, right? Or that the tunnel IP is whatever it is, 30.30.30. So we're actually going to see that it used the real logs and the real IPs and the real VLAN information directly on the box. Now, I think that's pretty cool, right? An AI that lives on the switch and is listening for show commands We'll take a look and analyze the output to the best of the model's ability to help augment the user's experience. They just have to check the logs. And also, the minute and a half latency, I'm not worried about the, that. Better CPUs, CPUs with GPUs, tensor layers, it's all coming. It's all coming. I happen to be ahead of the hardware. This was on XR and XOS, who both have gas shells. Bigger bigger guts and bigger CPU, it might only be a few seconds.
So I just wanted to share this with you. I, it took me a few days to get this going and a lot of uh, work and errors and problems and bad approaches and new approaches. So uh, I'm happy to discuss this with you at Cisco Live. I wanted to share with you to get you excited about Cisco Live and some of the crazy things you're going to see with AI at Cisco Live. Thanks again. Now, I think that's pretty cool, right? An AI that lives on the switch and is listening for show commands will take a look and analyze the output to the best of the model's ability to help augment the user's experience. They just have to check the logs. And also, the minute and a half latency, I'm not worried about the, that. Better CPUs, CPUs with GPUs, tensor layers, it's all coming. It's all coming. I happen to meet be ahead of the hardware. This was on XR and XOS, who both have gas shells. Bigger, bigger guts and bigger CPUs. It might only be a few seconds. So I just wanted to share this with you. I, it took me a few days to get this going and a lot of uh, work and errors and problems and bad approaches and new approaches. So uh, I'm happy to discuss this with you at Cisco Live. I wanted to share with you to get you excited about Cisco Live and some of the crazy things you're going to see with AI at Cisco Live. Thanks again.